So I'm really interested in the lion story, in, in, in history that's not necessarily told. The Book of Night Woman is about a slave woman named Lilith. Actually, we say Lilith in Jamaica. And she happens to stumble across, well, more than stumble across, a plot that's long been in the works where these slave women meet in secret at night and they've been plotting this rebellion for a good two years. And it's all female driven. There are no men involved in the plot because, well, men are no good. And it's how she becomes embroiled in this plot and in these lives and how these seven different women all have seven different agendas, you know, whether it's revenge or just take over or even to build their own sort of estate. And it's set between 1785 and 1801. And it's, I don't want to call it necessarily a historical novel, but it is a novel that is reckoning with history. And it's about, you know, women who even in that time were sort of looked down or nothing was expected of. So they become part of this highly intricate rebellion I always call slavery the great over-discussed, under-discussed topic that it's, it's, it's sort of like, well, it's actually exactly like one could say that the Holocaust now, that in a lot of ways, the real stories and the complete stories haven't been told yet. But more than that, you know, with, with a few exceptions, quite a few, but still a few exceptions, most of the major slavery novels have been about American slavery, like Beloved, um, Uncle Tom's Cabin, even novels that are not about slavery but feel like slavery novels like The Color Purple. Caribbean slavery and West, or West Indian slavery was so different in a lot of ways. One example, in the American South, even, even in, a state, in a state like Louisiana, slaves were up to around, say, 10% of the general population. So there wasn't much that they could do. In a colony like Jamaica, slaves were around 92 to 98 percent. So it was always volatile. It was always violent. Every year there was a plot. Um, there were always these conspiracies to burn down Kingston or burn down Montego Bay. So it was always a very violent, very volatile mix. Things were always on the edge. I don't think that's been captured much in slavery novels, just how, you know, how easily everything could fall apart at any point. It's weird, I, I, I don't consider myself a historical novice, but I am obsessed with the past. And I am obsessed with stories that weren't told or probably weren't told in, 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 in a good way. I'm trying to remember this African proverb. And basically it says, until lions learn to write, the story of the hunt will always glorify the hunter. You know, so I'm really interested in the lion story, in, in, in history that's not necessarily told.